Since, uh, since two, two, three, two, three years ago, I started to, I decided to go um, to use more open source software for work, mm -hmm. uh, personally, yes. Um, and so it has been like kind of a, a, a migration of tools, you know, from tools that, that I was using, uh, more commercial, more, more closed source, and I was migrating to tools that uh, offer you the possibility to host your data on your own servers mm -hmm. and that they are also open source. How is your most important, uh, your biggest move for you to, uh, like what application, which application is the most important in your daily professional life and you move to open source? Yeah. Uh, which application is it? Is it Office well, or like a design application? Or? I, I'm uh, very, very happy uh, with, uh, with one, uh, one application that is like kind of a, a shop or is a, uh, like a store like an Apple store, but for open source applications that yeah. are uh, the possibility to self-host it. Mm -hmm. And um, and so you you have like a, like a store, and there you can see a, like a lot of applications, no? Um, and if you want to uh, to use uh, one application, you can install it on your own machine. It's already, and it's already available, you have just to click and then yes, it's available. Yes, indeed. Okay. So you set up, um, you, I mean, you have to set up your domain name, mm -hmm. uh, and and so you have a, a basic domain name. You you need to give an, an additional domain name. You give an additional domain name for this app, you, and in two clicks, this app automatically um, is gets installed. So you don't really you don't need to work with command line. You don't need. It's it's really designed for for people that like me at the time. They didn't they they didn't know a lot about. You know, like the technical, technical part of application. So basically, you have like one, uh, like a website, like one installation. Uh, within this installation, you can choose or activate sub installations of several packages or applications. Yes, like exactly. Mm -hmm. Then you can install the applications that you want, and there are a lot of applications. Of course, the limit is the limit of the computer and the, the server where you yeah. have installed this app. Yeah, the limit of the, uh, the machine, the, the, the power, and also like the, the disk or the disk, the disk space. But you exactly. can always, if you have like a server, you can always uh, extend your server to a bigger one uh, if you need more. Yes, actually, that's what I did because there was a moment that uh, they were getting a little bit slow, mm -hmm. and I was very pissed. Uh, because they were, and, and, and so I talked to Rui, which is, was a, um, let's say, a software developer. Now he's, he's a software developer. He's now in in, uh, in Sweden, but he was he was helping me with the cloud drone application, mm -hmm. uh, and he helped me to um, to go to choose um, a bigger uh, serve like a bigger machine. For the right specification for your needs. Uh, yes. So now I, I'm, I'm posted in a bigger machine, more space, more disk space, um, and now the applications work very well. But I can see also uh, in the tool, I can see um, how, the, how the machine is performing. Mm -hmm. I can see if, if it's too busy in certain moments, I can see if the, the, there is not, not enough disk space, so I have all mm -hmm. the data available, I have access to the logs, mm -hmm. If there is a problem, I can see what the problem is. In the I also do the opposite. If you need less space or less, less power, you can downsize the server. Indeed, indeed. Without, without reinstalling everything. Yes. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think, I mean, this, this, I don't know exactly, I mean, at that time. It's cloud drone, no? Cloud, cloud drone. Yeah. It's called cloud drone. Yeah. And at, ta at the time, I don't know, I think I wanted to, I was uh, setting up my, my own company. I wanted like one single, uh, uh, one one single application where I, where I can host all the applications for my company and now I have there I have my uh, my email mm -hmm. I have my website uh, I have an invoicing tool mm -hmm. called Ninja Invoice um, I have tools for uh, sharing files mm -hmm. uh, I have tools for you know video conferencing uh, what else? I, I have tools for contact, like a CRM, mm -hmm. where I store all my contacts also there. And all that is like, the, the cost is just the installation. But then the, and every additional application mm -hmm. is free because it's, it's really free software, it's open source. Mm -hmm. yes. And another benefit, apart from the, you know, the fact that I, I, I can control, I can keep all my data in, mm -hmm. in that machine and I, can, uh, I, I am 100% secure, that there, and I know that nobody is, is 
uh, is, is, is using that data for all commercial purposes. Of all. I am 100% uh, confident, and that for me is very important, you know, to, to, to feel that when I use applications, I am 100% under control. And, uh, and okay, this comes with responsibilities as well. No? Like, for example, backup or uh, backups, mm -hmm. security, mm -hmm. any kind of technical problem, I have to deal with myself. There is no one, uh, mm -hmm. there is no, let's say, uh, support uh, service mm -hmm. uh, supporting me. Mm -hmm. But having said that, I, I am getting in touch with people like you, for example. Uh, yeah, I think people, that the support yeah. thing, if you are not too technical, is like in this situation, if you want to go. To be uh, less independent of, uh, of big zeros like Google or uh, Microsoft, mm -hmm. uh, it's a nice thing to go open source and to maintain your own things. But like the downside is like always, uh, or the downside is always, uh, or mostly like the the technical support. For example, something happens and your server crashes, and then what? Uh, yes, yeah. and that's uh, that's why many companies they don't really want to make that move because uh, they know that if there is a technical problem. Mm -hmm. that they can blame Microsoft, they can blame Google, they can blame, you know? Well, they can blame them, but they also do, like for example, if like the, there's a big outage, like all those big companies also, you can blame on them, or actually you can't blame them, because they're just, uh, imagine uh, Google goes down, and they can just say, we are down for the next two days, and yeah. what are you going to do? Actually nothing. Exactly. So you can actually do nothing, and you depend on them uh, more, so the distance between the technician and, and uh, of Google and you is like super far. Yeah. Unless you pay like a lot, uh, like a maintenance contract. Yeah. yeah. So like with yeah. this thing, with this open source, you can, well, you, it's easier to uh, to use. And if you can combine it with like an, a closer technical person, yeah. even in your own language or from the same city or whatever, then it's like an, then it's a better solution. Yeah, I think so because. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a better solution because you are getting in touch with a 90, low, normally a small, per I, I work with one person who is a geek, I call a geek. I call a geek, you know, like right now I'm working with, with um, uh, David, okay, I call David and he is uh, responsive. Mm. He's, a, he's a human behind, yeah. right? Yeah. Somebody that that I can call and he will give, he will uh, listen to me and tell me, okay, this is something with this. He can go to the application and look at the problem, look at the logs, because sometimes, I mean, let's face it, sometimes I don't have the time because uh, solving a, for me an application, a, a problem like that, for me, it can take Perfect. some time. It can take me half a day, one day, two mm -hmm. days, mm -hmm. actually, because I need to look at the information mm -hmm. and I need to figure out how the thing works. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, and so it's it's good if I have somebody you know, like a, a geek, an IT guy, who is around, is in the same city. So yeah. I am supporting real people in the city where I live, not global corporations that are somewhere in, I don't even know in, a, in which cloud they are. So it's but uh, the same like uh, the food uh, chains uh, are going now. Like everyone yeah. wants like a shorter uh, chain. Uh, Instead of your food company exactly, company. exactly, and I, I like to, to see this um, the same parallelism between uh, between open source and, and, and self hosted tool, and also with local bio produced mm -hmm. food, mm -hmm. because in a way it's also it's it's also a, a way for you to get closer to the food that you mm -hmm. eat, mm -hmm. really touch it, get in touch with the local producer, l uh, you can go even to the field, look at it, grab it. And, uh, and eat it, and it's, it's, it's a different relationship with the food, it's a different relationship with the software, it's something more 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 human, more so tangible. The most important backup of your open source uh, installation is not actually even backup of a server, but backup of a, a person, a human person, yes. to, uh, which is like in a very short relationship with you, yeah. where, where you have like a trust relationship. Yes. That's where the most important backup is. Yes, yes, it's absolutely, and, and, and I, I like to support these people because uh, I mean they are they are living in, in the same city than, than I do. They are people that I, I see, mm -hmm. 